going to add a new group at the top and I'm going to call it text and I'm going to add some text on the canvas type enter to accept what you've typed let's change the font and I know which one I want this one makes a really nice font change the alignment to center, change the tracking so that it spreads out a little bit and increase the size now to make this candy cane you go to the style tab and for the fill you create a gradient turn down the gradient and for this first one you want to click on it and change the interpolation to constant and let's change this to straight red and then I'm just going to click like that and then for every other swatch I want to turn it to white like that then you can go down here to the angle and Let's just drag it up like this and you have candy cane text now I'd like to actually put this in our scene so I'm going to open the ground back up again and bring it down I see I still have my light on so that helps Uh, bring it forward and I want to curve this so I'm going to double click on the text and I'll go to the layout tab and change the layout method to path and I want to change the camera view to top and right now what I'm seeing is the shadow on our fake snow and we can do anything you want I'll just do pull out the center like this and smooth it out now you could also select circle down here in the path shape and you have other shapes too there's a wave uh, but if you wanted to make a custom shape then this would be the way to do it and you could also right click on the line and add points and create different kinds of things like that and when you get back to the active camera you'll see that you actually have this wrapping in the Z space I don't want exactly that so I'll just go back and change it back so that's a way to customize a text path I don't want that one. I'll just uh, delete the point and go back. And so I could have used a circle, but I didn't. I showed you how to use a path, and you do it that way. And then down here for align to path, I want all of the letters to face the front. So I'm going to turn that off, and they will all turn so that they face the front. And then for this, I'm going to have to use the path offset just a little bit turn off wrap around and I'll get these two line up so that it's more centered like that and now you have candy cane text in your scene and if we add back our other items
Now, for some reason, the uh, gradient angle on the letters like L and I are a little bit offset from the rest of these. I have no idea why it's like that. It seems to be across any font that I've tried, so you'll just have to deal with it. To finish off this little series, I need to cover the star, and it's pretty simple. So I'm just going to put it on the end of this one. I'm going to turn off everything else and create a new group, new star. The star is a generator. So you go to the library, generators, star, and apply. I'm going to pause that. Basically, this is just figuring out how you want it sized. Turn the radius down, the spike scale down or up. And you can make a beautiful little star like that. Now, there's a couple of things you can do with this. There's this epsilon control and you can do something with the opacity like this so pick whichever one you want and let's try the opacity I didn't do this for mine but let's turn off the original I'm gonna right click on the spike opacity and add a parameter behavior and then I want to add an oscillate and for the amplitude I'm just gonna turn this down to something very low and the speed to something very subtle one basically and when we play this let's turn the amplitude up the star will grow brighter and larger let me turn the speed up so you can see what's going on And you can change the, the phase so that you can create the effect to happen at specific times. So that's pretty cool. I'm turn the amplitude down. That's just a little too much. But that's basically how you do it. You can do a nice little star with a nice little fluctuation like that. It's just a really sweet touch to the effect of the project. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed all of this. This was like a little crash excursion into motion to, you know, do a very specific kind of project. And I hope you found it helpful, and I will catch you on the next one. Happy holidays, y'all.